Good morning. <laughs> okay, wait, it's almost afternoon. It's a beautiful day out today. We just have a slight breeze, which is really helpful for me to be out working in the yard. Um, but I have something so exciting to share with you guys. I've been waiting on this for so long, so long. And um, I've been watching daily and nothing, 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 but I spotted something and I figured I'd better go take a look and I'm so excited. Okay, okay, I just gotta, I'm gonna turn around the video and I'm gonna share it with you. Sorry about that, we're having a training session because this little guy thinks it's okay to come into this bed and it's not okay, is it, mister? You stay out of there, okay? All right, so anyway, <laughs> three months ago, um, I started a new bed here in the garden underneath a tree and um, it was a mushroom bed, a wine cap mushroom bed. And I started the substrate all on my own. I, I grew um, the mycelium myself from a small syringe. I grew a larger amount. I then, and, um, I then uh, pasteurized the substrate that I was going to grow in, which was a combination of hardwood and a few other things. And I inoculated that substrate with the mycelium. I allowed the mycelium to grow. And then I planted it outside once it had done so. That was three months ago. I've been waiting to see if I was gonna be successful or not. And I gotta turn this video around to show you the results. Um, it's not a big deal. You probably are gonna think, oh geez, she's all excited for nothing. But this is not nothing. <laughs> so they're gonna look horrible because I didn't realize they were growing because I was just not over here in this area checking things out all the time. Sorry, my hands are all over the place. But here we go. Look at that. Okay, so this one got a little bit too done and looks like something got to the top of it. But look at my little wine cap mushrooms. There's a whole bunch right there, but they're a little too big. I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can still harvest them. But we're gonna go ahead and keep watering this bed. It hasn't been watering as well as I would like. So now that I see the flushes happening, I'm gonna start making sure that it's super moist. But look at that. Will you look at it? <laughs> I have mushrooms. I'm so excited. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get this harvested. <clears throat> Oh, all right. We're just gonna we're just gonna cut this off and leave the leave that to grow some more. Let's see. these spores. And I'm gonna climb in here. All right, I brought you in the house where the W word wasn't happening and thought I'd show you. So I cut off the ends and just threw them back in. And the one that was all funky looking, I went ahead and placed it with the gill side down in the soil so that it would drop some spores down into the soil and just continue to do its thing. So I reached out to some of my mushroom growing folks and I posted a picture of this and they said, it's fine, go ahead and um, cut it up and saute it in some butter and garlic and it'll be amazing. And so that's what we're gonna do tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and then whatever I have left, will literally get, um, just sliced up and I will put it into our freeze dryer to freeze for uh, winter. I'll be using it in spaghetti sauces and just different um, 
recipes that I do, including our new dry cream of mushroom uh, soup mix. So anyway, super exciting and thank you for coming along. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, I would absolutely love if you did so. Um, it would greatly help the channel out and so would your likes and shares and all of that good stuff. And if you wanna be alerted to new videos, hit that bell and it'll notify you when I upload a new video and we will have some new ones coming up pretty soon. So anyway, how exciting is this? <laughs> Thanks for coming along, guys. We'll see you on the next video.